And w w what is the particular drivers that have, 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 have driven uh, BAM to, to produce, I believe, your first um, CSR report right. this year? Yeah. Um, what do you think are the things that you're going to, as a company, be able to rationalise your investment in, in, mm. in this area? One of the, the reasons that we've tried to, we pulled together our first CSR report this year was to really pull together everything that we've been doing in CSR um, over the last couple of years. I mean, as a, as a business, we've been working actively on many different programmes on CSR, looking at our programmes on now people, working within the communities in which we operate, working with local schools, um, working on environmental issues, health and safety, etc. But this is the first time we've really pulled together in one place what CSR means for us as a business. And I think there's lots of very good reasons why CSR is important for us as a business. Um, one of the most critical things is around our um, recruitment and tension of our staff. We have a very good, um, very low staff turnover rate and we want to be able to maintain that level. So, um, and we also want to be able to recruit, um, to continue to recruit a talented and diverse workforce because that helps us to maintain the success of the business going forwards. So it's important for us to be able to understand what the issues are of importance for our employees, so issues around learning and development, having a safe and healthy workplace. It's also very important for, for our clients. Um, there is a lot of um, pressure coming down from government, um, particularly down through the public sector, who are asking us about um, well, what are we doing on sustainability? You know, can we achieve Brian excellent in terms of the buildings we're designing and developing? You know, how can we, you know, what added value can we support in terms of the skills and education agenda? You know, how can we can support, can we support social regeneration issues within the local communities where we're we working? So it's the whole kind of building trust and good it, within the local communities, which is very important. But Karen, what, what's in it for BAM? Um, Surely there must be something that you gain. Um, is, is it good business, for instance? Um, yeah, I think it is good business. I mean, it, it, it does go to the heart of what we do as a business. If, you know, if we have good customer um, relationships, um, that's adding to the bottom line of our business. If we don't receive complaints or litigation against us because we're actually managing our sites in a very responsible way that actually saves us time and effort and potentially financially. But these are not in the in the short term, are they? These are over a longer period of time. If you look at it as a game or as a journey, it it is a long it is a long journey. It's um, it's looking to the future. It's about um, understanding what is important to our different stakeholders. So, and there's, there's a sort of responsibility for yes, um, be, being a responsible company mm. and and seeing that that you, you're working in a way which people actually appreciate, and mm. as well as any financial gains that you get back. It might be difficult to say that there is a cost benefit to some of those issues, but in the long term, having those positive relationships with our different stakeholders actually supports our business, overall business aims and goals, and helps us to continue to be a successful business.